Hello, I'm finally here. <laughs> this is a new series. I'm calling it A Spellcaster's Journey because that's what it's going to be. But we have our sisters. Oh my god, <laughs> the house is in the way. This is Jade. This is my main sim. This is one that I usually play. And then we have Jem, who was Maureen in the previous file. She was the vampire, but she's Jem now because I like that name. And she and Jade are sisters biological sisters so yeah see sisters yay okay so only one of them is going to be a spellcaster but for now i just wanted to quickly show off the aspirations that came with realm of magic so we have jade she's gonna be the actual spellcaster i don't know what we're gonna do with gem i really think she's just gonna kind of be in the background like okay that's fine <laughs> but anyway so we got become a spellcaster travel to the magic realm learn a spell, reach spellcaster rank two, uh, no three of them, cast a spell on another sim, you know, things like that. That's what we're gonna be working on first. Now, Gem here, we'll change her aspiration. I just, again, wanted to show it off, but uh, purveyor, purveyor, is that how you say that? <laughs> of potions, um, which is the alchemy side of Realm of Magic, rather than actually casting spells, you're making potions instead. It's pretty much the same thing as what Jade has, but then we start talking about potions instead. And we'll cover all of that in this, but I'm also going to try to make it fun. Um, Carl's Sim Guide said that you could technically become a spellcaster, raise the ranks, and learn everything that you possibly could in four Sims hours, I think. We're not going to do that. We're going to kind of spread it out. We're going to give them like a good life, you know, kind of like what we did with the vampires thing. It's not just going to be, okay, we're just doing Roman magic and that's it. And I have used money cheats mainly because I wanted to put down this house. And apparently it costs a lot of money. I didn't realize I built an expensive house, but that's fine. So um, we're using money cheats. So they don't really have to have jobs if they don't want to, which she does and she does. We're actually gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to have her quit her job because that's just gonna get in the way of things. I'll give like a quick tour of this house, kinda. I mean, as you can see, this is like the living room, nice hallway area, kitchen, dining room. Yes, we want that to happen, thank you dining room which is significantly smaller than the rest of the house these awesome windows that came with realm of magic stained glass i love them anyway um this leads down to the basement the basement just has some gym stuff which my sims never used this is the room that we would put to use with potions that's a cauldron and then we just store the potions on these lovely things that came with jungle adventure that i love so much <laughs> um <laughs> This room, we'll just forget about that room. I built that for the, the, I have, I'm using this house in another save. I think I already mentioned that, but, um, that room is being used by someone and I just got rid of the stuff in it before I started this stream because whatever. Yeah. The basement room. <laughs> then the two bedrooms up here, this is Jade's as you can see. And then this is uh, gems as you can see. So because they immediately ran straight up to the rooms to start playing on the computer, which is completely accurate. So chess table which would come in handy if we had Caleb here, which I wouldn't be surprised at some point. I end up bringing him in because that's what I do. I always say, I'm not going to do it in this save. And then I do it in this save. So an easel that no one's going to use most likely at all. Um, that's pretty much it um, for the house. And then this is our lovely bookshelf. Once again, came with Realm of Magic and I love it. It's so cool. If I could get one of these in real life, I would totally do it. All right, I'm gonna have Jade go here and get this frog. <laughs> that seems kind of random, right? But you actually use frogs and fish for spells. Well, potions, actually. And then crystals as well, which she can get from this thing right here. We will do that in a moment. Hurry your ass up, girl. What's taking you so long? She's like, I ain't jogging for you. Shut up. <laughs> you can wait. God, what's wrong with you? We will put this here and then we can breed the frogs if we choose. No, where are you going? You gotta dig this thing up, girl, come back. It begins. In my more recent save files, when I have the two of them together, Gem and Jade, usually Jade is the vampire and Gem is the spellcaster, but this time that's not what's going to happen because I used Gem in the last series that I did, even though she had a different name and I, I wanna change it up a little. Uh, real quick, actually. I know I keep saying real quick, but it's like, everything's real quick, gotta do it speedy speedy. I don't know why I'm in such a hurry, but I'm in one. <laughs> Wait, she found a treasure map? She didn't even find a crystal? How about this one? Okay. Because this is what I store things in for them. She found a treasure map, so hooray. I guess we'll just store it in there. We're not going to use it for anything, but I just want it out of her inventory. <laughs> so now we will start our actual spellcaster journey. Oh wait, no, we're being greeted by Grace and Nasi. I love Grace and Nasi. Hold on. So we've got Daryl Charm and Minerva Charm. And I don't remember her name. Amelia Ernest, Grace Anasi, which 
I saw her in Strangerville in the last series, and I was like, yeah, oh my god, we need to get Grace and Aussie. Wait, she's a spellcaster. We can't turn her into a vampire. So yeah, that's that's me being bright. When you get into Glimmerbrook, which is what this world is, let's see if we zoom out. You see the portal, which is right here. I feel like I should cancel the welcome wagon. <laughs> Why did I do this? Can she leave when there is a welcome wagon happening? No, we cannot. That's exactly why I shouldn't have done this. Great way to start it off. We already have a negative relationship with these people simply because I don't want to waste time. <laughs> and we're just going to run down the path. <laughs> and this is the realm. And Grace is here. <laughs> She's following us. She's a stalker. This is the HQ, I think is what they call it. Caster's Alley is over here. This is where we can buy stuff. The gardens are here where we can harvest stuff, but apparently not very well. And then up here is the dueling grounds, and we'll get to that later as well. Although you can duel anywhere. You don't necessarily have to do it at the dueling grounds. I normally don't. Oh my god, slice of life is pissing me off. But I do have an auto save because of MC Command Center, so that's going to be good. I am using mods for this because of that damn auto save. So what we want to do is befriend the sages, and I say sages as plural because provided that we are playing the game the way that I'm planning to play, it. We want to learn all of the spells and all of the potions, so we need to be friends with all of them. Oh, I forgot! I changed the sages so they actually look like they do in the trailer, like the, the actual like gameplay trailer. They look completely different than they do when you get into the game. And I'm kind of frustrated with that, so I decided to try to remake them. I know I didn't do a good job, so please don't hate on my um, remade sages, but damn it, I'm proud of them. So anyway, so this is El Faba, the sage of mischief magic. This is Simon Silver Sweater, or Simeon. How do you pronounce that? I don't really know. I say Simon, whatever. Silver Sweater, and he is the sage of practical magic. And of course, we have the one and only Morgan Ember up here attempting to stand up. <laughs> the Sage of Untamed Magic. And seeing as we were playing him before, you didn't get to see this lovely thing above his head, but this is the runes, and they tell us what type of magic they practice. It's also a good way, like, if you're zoomed out like this, it's a good way to figure out where they are. That's generally what I use it as. It's like a map marker. Oh, there they are. Obviously, we're going to talk to Morgan first, because that's just the logical explanation here, isn't it? The logical thing to do is talk to Morgan first. Nope, never mind. I'll do cheerful. I will not do romantic interactions. I need to, like, write this, like, on my forehead. Do not do romance interactions with Morgan Ember. This little area right here is super pretty, too, because it's just like a little garden. It's adorable. And Morgan hangs out generally up here. L generally hangs out down in like there's like a little basement room over here and Simon generally hangs out right here where we saw the sages to begin with. This is like Simon's area. Over here is L's area usually uh, and then again Morgan is up here usually. Now there are times where you'll get them kind of mixed. You'll see him in other places obviously. <laughs> nope he's like I'm just gonna talk to Grace. So uh, yeah all right let's try this again. We will not do a flirty introduction. <laughs> we will not do it. We will not do it. It's like is it Bart Simpson who always has to write things on the chalkboard like over and over again. That's pretty much like what I'm doing in my mind right now. Writing it on the chalkboard that we will not flirt with Morgan Ember. <laughs> no, 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 no. What are you? Why are you walking away if you're trying to talk to her? She's right here. Oh my God, he's pacing. He's confused. Did I already break him? Okay, cool. So now we're friends. I don't know if he can turn us just yet. Mm, yes, ask how to use magic. Oh. I was born ready. So he's like, you know, you want to, you sure you want to start this journey, whatever. What he just did is he made it so you can see these moats and you have to collect seven of them and bring them back. Uh, duh, it's right here on the corner. In order to bestow the gift of magic upon you, I will need seven magical moats. I have granted you moat sight in order to see and retrieve them. Search the realm for moats and return to me quickly before the spell wears off. It actually isn't that quick, really. They give you a lot of credit here. Let her run around and get these moats. Jade's queue is full. Well, quit talking to Morgan and find the god dang... <laughs> that is the first and only time you'll ever hear me say, stop talking to Morgan. So we'll just follow her because we're stalkers and we'll just do that and can we get a move on this please <laughs> watching her walk in fast motion like that is actually kind of funny all right so we have seven of the moats grace and Asi is trying to talk to us and once again we're gonna walk away we need to find morgan again we need to bring the moats to him and he is back up here whoops we're not gonna turn the moats into the the bookshelf we're gonna turn them into morgan i will put uh um sorry hold on all right <laughs> And just like that, we are a spellcaster. 
Uh, you can view her spellbook by opening the perks panel or by clicking on the button in this window. I love Practical Magic. It is my favorite. So Practical Magic, again, like I said, is my favorite. I mean, I'd love to love Untamed because of Morgan, but honestly, Practical Magic is my favorite because you can do things like clean things without actually touching them at all. You can just cast a spell and poof, it's clean, including people. <laughs> so if someone starts to stink, you cast a spell on them and poof, they're clean, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. You can teleport from place to place rather than well, whatever, the alternative. <laughs> repair, yeah, you can repair things. That's the scrub one I was talking about. Delicioso's, or delicio, yeah, I was right. Okay, it's Spanish for delicious. Anyway, you can click the ground or click something, cast the spell, and suddenly a meal just appears before you. This is has to do with gardening. I haven't really used it. Copy pasto is my favorite. I love this one. Well, these two are my favorites. This is the teleporting one. Alchemy, we have 15 potions that we need to learn. 8 untamed spells, 9 practical magic spells, 7 mischief spells, and so we have a lot of work ahead of us. Plus we have to build up, we have this bar here, right now we are apprentice, and literally nothing, we have nothing here. You rank up from apprentice to, uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, ne neophyte? Neophyte, yeah, okay. Uh, to acolyte, to adept, to master, and to virtuoso, which is the highest level that you can possibly be. And once you reach a new rank, you start unlocking new spells. So we can't just walk around and learn these spells all at once. We can't just like walk up to Morgan, learn a spell, walk up to Simon, learn a spell, and then L, you know, because there is a cool, number one, there's a cool off period for potions and spells, but then there's also, we have to wait to rank up. And the sages will tell you that. Well, I'm sure I'm going to slip up at some point. I tend to get ahead of myself a lot with these things. So I'm sure I'm going to get yelled at at least once by one of the sages saying, hey, can't do that. So that being said, let it, let live. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Let's ask Morgan to teach us a spell. Mira and I know what? Oh, I can't share my knowledge with just anyone. That's right. They don't, they're not high enough friendship yet. Whoops. We're going to make friends with him. It's like, I can't share my knowledge with just anyone, but I can turn you into a spellcaster, even though I don't know who you are or what you do or anything like that. Doesn't matter. It's so weird. Can you, she's listening, but he's not talking. Ugh. Jade, seriously. There's literally no one. What is happening? Oh, L was coming up to say hi. So we'll greet L. Jeez, everybody's coming up. They're like, hey, you're a newbie, aren't you? There we go. <laughs> First impression is last a lifetime. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, where are you going? <laughs> we need no stop, come back. Talk about the cloudy weather. There we go. Talking about the weather. I don't know why they do that. When they're talking about weather, why does it look like she's complimenting him? It doesn't make sense. It's like, mm, you look just as good as <laughs> this weather. It doesn't make any sense. It's like, why are you doing that? Yay, okay, so he taught us a spell. He taught us to <laughs> inferniate. <laughs> I like that one. Teach a potion recipe because we're going to do the alchemy stuff as well. Alright. Potion of good fortune. So now we will talk to... Because now there's a cool off. Like, like I said, I try to ask Morgan again for, you know, yeah, we can't do that. So let's go meet Simon because he does my favorite kind of magic even though he's not my favorite sim. <laughs> he's not my favorite sage, but he does specialize in the best kind of magic in my opinion. I probably should try to grab moats. You know what? Hold on. Simon will still be here. The moats might not be. So let's go and collect more of these so we can eat them. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. That's actually what we do. It technically says absorb, but we are are eating them <laughs> and I think it limits you in getting seven anyway even if you're not trying to give it to a, a sage I will try to collect others but I don't think it's gonna let me if I remember correctly it won't so yeah we'll wait now that we have them in our inventory we don't need to eat them right away so let's go back and talk to Simon no we're not gonna do flirty introduction with him either with Morgan it's because I'm trying to keep this professional at least for now with Simon it's just I mean no so technically he's an adult, but he has gray hair. So he actually doesn't, the one that they put in here, the one that doesn't look like the trailer, doesn't have gray hair, but this one does, the one from the trailer. I'll post like in the actual video, I'll post like a side-by-side -side picture of like what I'm talking about and how I changed these sages to look like the ones in the trailers. Complain about problems. <laughs> hey, I just value you now, I'm gonna complain. <laughs> I demand to speak to your manager. <laughs> Real quick, I love this necklace so much. Like it is so, whoop disappeared it is so pretty and l has one too it came with realm of magic obviously and it is so pretty no why are you walking away 
Nope, come back. Okay, you know what? The things are not picking up very quickly here, so let's just send Jade home. After she sleeps, I'll have her come back and we'll go right to Caster's Alley and get her some stuff that she could use here. I was gonna do that now, but it would just be a mess because she'd end up passing out all over the place. Trust me, I know, I've done this before. <laughs> I just push her to her absolute limit and she passes out everywhere, falling on her face, <laughs> falls off of her broom straight out of the sky. <laughs> That's never gonna get old, I'm just saying. I, I really do kind of want to make both of them spellcasters, but I think it would be difficult for me to keep up on both of them. So that's why I'm not doing it. So let's give her a different aspiration, actually. I just wanted to show off what it was, and now I can switch it to something else. So let's give her... Let's give her food. We will make her a master chef, and we'll get her into the culinary career. Because we need someone who's going to make some yummy meals for the holidays. <laughs> we don't have Caleb here. Caleb doesn't actually come with cooking skill. I just always seem to get him... No, I don't do it. He does it. Because he starts watching cooking shows on TV, which raises your cooking skill. So he just keeps doing that. And then I'm like, hey, since you know how to cook so well, why don't we make you make these dinners? Because you're doing a pretty damn good job of it. And that's what happens. <laughs> culinary. We are going to become a... You got excited about getting a job as a dishwasher? Really? Trust me, girl, that is nothing to be excited over. I did that quite a few times in my life. I do not like it. <laughs> this sucks. Prepare food and mix drinks. So let's go and prepare some food. And don't burn the house down, please. Party size, because there's two people in the house. Might as well make eight servings. <laughs> We're rich. It doesn't matter. We can do whatever the hell we want. We can make enough for the whole damn neighborhood, and it wouldn't even make a scratch in the bank account. Wait, you made that. Now you need to... Oh, it's cold in here. Okay, wait. Let's let's change that. No, stop trying to use the toilet. That is for plebs. <laughs> Sorry. And after she's done, we'll have her make some more food to complete this to get her performance up a bit. Oh, hold on a hot second. We're gonna we gotta do this. Wait. Eco lifestyle. Turn that off. <laughs> Goodbye. All right, good. That's gone. Yeah, no. Voting is not open. Voting is gone. Voting is uh 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 uh. uh. We're not voting. Nobody's voting for anything. Oh, can we not with this? Slice of life actually kind of frustrates me a bit. Before I do anything, slice of life, skincare, become acne free because that is annoying as hell. Slice of life, skincare, become acne free and cheat. Okay. Because that happens and it'll be like minor breakout, major breakout. They end up getting like embarrassed and it's just stop. I do like it because it gives them like overlays on their face. So if she's embarrassed, in fact, it happened earlier. Um, if she's embarrassed or uh, flirty, then she gets blushy. And when they're tired, they get dark circles under their eyes. It actually kind of looks creepy if you're just looking like down here, their eyes they look like they just got into a huge fight. Oh, and if they do get into a fight, that happens too. Their faces get bloody and um, not like super bloody, but like just, you know, red and bruised and stuff, so. It, it just sort of adds a little bit more realism to the game. So I do like that. But the acne thing bothers me a lot. <laughs> so once she's done, then we can bring her back to the magic realm. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. We don't want you to do that. Let's do this. Once you become... Oh, I forgot she had a potion. Hold on. <laughs> once you become a spellcaster, you are given a glimmer stone, which is this little thing right here. When you click on it, you travel to the magic realm immediately and you teleport. Boom. There she goes. So that's what the glimmer stone does. But it also has a cooling off period, which is why I have the house right next to the portal. <laughs> so in case that happens, we can just click the portal and call it done. So what do we need to do? Right, we were going to talk to Simon because we still haven't gotten any sort of potions or spells from him at all. So let's just keep being friendly with him. Um, ask about day. Which the day just started. How has your three hours been so far, Simon? I hope your three hours have been good. Oh, right. I was going to take her to Caster's Alley first. God dang it. All right, we'll ask him for stuff first and then we'll go to caster's alley see if we can okay good we got that all right scrub -a -roo. one of my favorites nimble mind okay so we've done everything that we need to do with him so now let's go to caster's alley before i forget buy wands tomes and familiars oh that's another thing i gotta talk about the tomes aka the books they teach you spells not to be confused with a spell book, of course. But that's what they are, pretty much. They just focus on one spell rather than all of them. So we can get we're gonna get the ancient wood wand, the bone wand, all of these familiars, because we can use them. We're gonna get all the tomes, because we can also use them, except for this one. We don't need that. We already have that. We're gonna get the wood wand as well. Cool. Okay, and now we'll go here and buy a broom, because that'll help us get around a little bit faster, at least until we can teleport, which is like one of the last spells that you can learn. So this will help us a lot. <laughs> 
I'm gonna get the crystals and stuff as well because we can use that. Um, there's a magic mop, which I don't get. Well, I might, I'll just hang it on the wall or something. But we get the gnarled wood broom usually in order to fly. And then we'll go here and get, not there, here. We'll get potion ingredients as well, at least for later, because, you know, just stock up on them, put them in that little box that I put down and call it a day. Spending an awful lot of money here. Zombie Carl, we can actually make a potion that would make you either immortal or to completely just come back to life with all the things that I just bought here. We're gonna bind our familiars. Flops, the butterfly, he's so cute. Orion, the raven, and Krakens. <laughs> oh my god. Krakens, the skull. <laughs> oh my god. I, I've never gotten that name before and that actually makes me laugh. Like, oh, that's great. Okay, anyway. So now we can go back down here and now we can befriend Elle and get information from her. I make it sound like we're a goddamn spy. Now we can befriend Elle and get information. So, did we already greet her? I think we did. Yes, we did. Good. I told you to use the goddamn freaking broom. Why aren't you using the broom? <laughs> Jade. <laughs> Hurry up, we're all waiting for you. I don't know why you're even talking about weather when you're in a vortex, but that's fine. Okay, now I think we can ask about, yes, ask to teach mischief magic. Cool, we learned Desperio. And we just got another potion, I think. Yeah, we did. Oh. Plentiful needs. Okay, good. All right, so now what I wanted to talk about are the bookshelves. When you come here, you can also search for tomes. Now, once you get one, you don't get any others. So, well, I mean, not, you know, not for a while. Again, there's a cool off. There's a cool off to everything that you do here. I don't think I've ever had Morgan actually approach me, so this is interesting. Usually, it's the other way around. Usually, she's constantly going after him. Of course she is. <laughs> I don't want to break up this conversation because honestly, this is like the coolest thing ever right now, but I don't want to bore people by just watching the conversation play out. Hey, what are you, why are you yelling at Morgan? That's rude. Oh yeah. Okay. So she needs to shower. Yeah. She, okay. So her traits are, she's evil. She's a foodie. And I don't remember what the other one is. When you have an aspiration, you also have a trait and her trait there is dastardly. Uh, so she's not a very nice person, honestly. Meanwhile, Morgan's so not feeling- I know exactly what's going on. It's the slice of life mod. He's feeling insecure or embarrassed about something having to do with that. And there's literally nothing I can do about it. And you can't play a sage because as soon as you play the sage, they lose their sage status. So, so for now, he's just going to be embarrassed. Oh, we found another butterfly. That's cool. Wait, let's make Morgan happy and give him a- you know what? Let's take a shower first. Actually, there are showers here. Which is good because Morgan is technically homeless and I really wish I was making that up. I'm not. The other sages have a home as well as working here, but Morgan does not. I forgot what I was going to do. Oh, we're going to give Morgan a gift. That's what we're going to do. I don't think he's going to use it, but I know that he doesn't by default have familiars. So we're going to give him one because we're a good friend. You can find it. Orb of the Butterfly. Another glitch that I've been finding lately is if you try to ask one sage a question while the other sage is nearby, the other sage will answer. So like, let's say we ask Morgan to teach us a an untamed spell. And then we go and we ask L to teach us an, a mischief spell. Morgan will answer and say, no, sorry, you've already learned, you know, all the things for your rank. And it's like, no, but I didn't ask you, you know, it's like, I'm trying to ask the other person. So there is a glitch with that. I thought maybe it was me just misclicking, but I did it again and it happened again. So it's, yeah, there's an issue with that. So we have to make sure that the sages are not in the same area or they're gonna think we're talking to them. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's happy with the gift and still not happy though. <laughs> Damn it, Morgan, I'm sorry. <laughs> It is 9.12. I will have her go back home because she's basically done everything that she can for the day. Unless... Wait, no, we didn't ask Morgan for another untamed spell, so... Okay. So we'll ask for a potion recipe then. See what happens. Is he gonna meet us in the bathroom? Are you kidding me? I'm literally trying not to have them be kinky. Why are you in here? Simon! Wait, who gave... This is what I was talking about. She asked Morgan for the potion and Simon gave her the potion instead. So we need to, I guess, go here and try to get rid of Simon from the conversation and try to ask Morgan for a potion instead. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> yes. Okay. Teach us untamed magic, please. She looks shocked every time. She's like, oh my God, you can do magic. And then the next time, oh my God, you can do magic. <laughs> 
Okay. He's not happy about that. Oh, okay, wait. You just gave her the potion of alluring aura. You do realize that you shouldn't have done that, right? Oh, he nodded. <laughs> I said that he was like, yeah, I, I know that. <laughs> She's a weirdo. <laughs> she chases after me in every single save file. Why do you keep doing this to me? When Sims become self-aware. We didn't ask Elle for a potion. We should probably ask her real quick for a potion before we go. Let's see if she actually uses her broom. And falls off of it, because that is a very common occurrence when you're still a newbie. I love how it's so warm in the realm that she has to change her outfit to something cooler. And then she gets here and it's ice cold. She's like, what are you trying to do to me? Give me freaking pneumonia. <laughs> oh, there's another frog we could get. How about we ask Jem to get the frog for us since we're lazy and still sleeping. And we'll ask her to get whatever's here too. And she found that. I don't know if we're going to need that for anything. But we are going to put that in our little chest down here. We're also going to go through Jade's inventory and do the same. Lots of fish. Another fish. A zombie coral. Crystals. We're going to take one of our brooms and just hang it up as a decoration. Didn't have any plans of using a mop. <laughs> and now we're going to put the potions that we have gotten here. And I want to get some wand cases. But for now, we can put the wands here. And then the books can go into the bookshelf. We can't learn them yet, I don't think. Because we are only... Whoa! We already ranked up to the third? Oh no, we're on the second. Ugh, I don't know why I keep thinking that's the third. We're going to give her a talent point. Knowledge is magic. Sim reads and does computer research at a faster rate. I think I'm going to go with discharge. Because what I'm doing is having her learn from the sages rather than learn from a book or by experimenting. So I'm going to have her do discharge instead. Because that can help us a lot when we actually start casting the spells. Because this right here is our spellcaster charge. If we were to practice magic or cast but No, not practice. If we were to cast spells on people, then this starts to rise. And once it gets to a certain point... Yeah, it says right here, regular. In this range, all magic behaves normal. No additional benefits or dangers. If it's higher, your power is stronger, but there's a bigger chance of failure, bigger chance of curses, <laughs> which is fun. <laughs> Not really. And uh, what's the other one? Oh, death by overload. Yeah, I almost forgot that. <laughs> once you get to a certain, I think it's like up here, once you get way too high, you could actually die from being too charged. Yeah, you don't want that either. We're going to avoid curses like the plague, which I think is actually kind of an ironic statement. But hey, why are you just sitting there talking when you could easily get yourself something to eat? Get leftovers. And after you're done, we'll go back to the realm. <laughs> no, she hasn't violently made mac and cheese yet. Wait, no, we're going to eat these moats for... Wait, no, what? Oh no, we can't eat them. So let's just go to the... Yeah, this glimmerstone needs time to recharge its power. So... We're going to go down here and use the portal instead. I love how she enters the portal and then it asks me if I want her to enter the portal. It's like, you're a bit late on that, but yeah, sure, that's fine. We'll go back to Caster's Alley because every day the inventory changes and I would like to see if they have other familiars for her. Maybe even other wands. I like the marble wand a lot. Um, I haven't really made it past that. I'd actually like to continue getting collectibles even after she's at Virtuoso, but I guess we'll see what happens. I want this wand right here. This one. That's one that the sages use. And oh! Oh, familiar orb of the hex doll. Uh, we already have a skull. Snub nose leaf bat. Bone wand we already have. Magician's wand. <laughs> yeah. We don't need this one because we already know it. Uh, we need this and this and... <gasps> wand of the Sylvan Forest! I literally just said I wanted this wand, and there it is. I've never gotten it before. Oh my god, yes. So much yes. Ah, I'm so happy now. Bind familiar. Pins. <laughs> the hex doll's name is Pins. We're gonna summon one of our familiars. So, we could do... Let's do Pins. <laughs> Let's do Pins. I wanna get a dragon. Oh wait! You can actually get a dragon. The HQ pretty much gives you a freebie if I remember correctly. Hold on. So we go down here to the little basement thing and there's one sitting right here and you can actually take it and you can use it. Like it's just for you and it be a dragon. Gorbash is his name. So if anyone's ever looking for that, the orb of the dragon is sitting on top of the fireplace in the basement room. This is so damn cute. This little hex doll that just chases her around. You know what it reminds me of? The mask in um, Crash Team Racing. You get the, the little mask and he's like, Kunimaga! <laughs> this is what it reminds me of. This guy right here. He's so cute. Yeah. Aku Aku? Is that how it's pronounced? Yeah, that guy. 
Oh, is he in all the Crash Bandicoot games? Yeah, wait. I remember he was in the one that I used to play on the first PlayStation, because I'm old. Um, <laughs> and he was on Cre Crash Team Racing. But I have never really played any other Crash Bandicoot games. You can also get a pet, like a cat or a dog, and you can actually turn that into a familiar as well, which I think is really cool. I have that in my other save. There we go. There's our dragon. Oh my goodness. You're so cute. <laughs> Would you hurry up and waddle the bathroom a little faster? Thank you. I would like to duel a spellcaster before this episode is over. The problem is I'm worried about dueling just because of the fact that if you do duel too much, you will get a curse. And she's not hexproof yet, and she also doesn't have a way to get rid of the curses. And I really don't want to deal with that right now, because curses freaking suck. <laughs> hey, speaking of, there is Morgan, our favorite untamed spellcaster. And it looks like he's happier today. That's nice. Did you find one? Yeah, you did. Wait, no, you're reading a- What are you doing? You're supposed to find a book. Did she find one? Tome of Nausea. Oh, that's great, because we totally need that. Oh, there's Simon. Ooh, asked to teach practical magic. Whoops. Just kind of zoomed right in on him. I was like, hey, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> All right, so let's ask for a potion recipe as well. I should probably tone it down a bit. Otherwise, we really are going to be done with this pretty quick, and I don't want that. New spells are fun! That's what our dragon just said to us. She's been taught a new potion recipe. Magical aura. Um, I think I will have her dual Morgan real quick um, when I'm done here, just so you can see what it looks like when a sim loses. <laughs> because she's going to lose in horrible, horrible ways. Okay, cool. Now ask for a potion recipe. And she got, I don't know, emotional stability. We will ask Morgan to duel. Like I said, we will fail miserably, but let's just watch anyway. We won't do it at the dueling grounds just yet. I will show that off once I feel I am confident that she could beat Morgan. Soy Briv. Soy Briv. <laughs> See, he is using that wand. It's the same one. Whoa! Jeez. <laughs> no, hold on. That's better. And... He's gonna win, you can tell by the red magic here. That's just a... Or not. <laughs> I was wrong. I thought that was the end of the battle, sorry. That is the end of the battle. Once they start using the red magic, you know, it's kind of over. So I knew that she was going to get her ass whooped by Morgan. But there you have it. That is a duel. <laughs> but I have actually made it so she has beat Morgan before. Oh, now you can see that her charge is up a little. Now, like before this was empty and it looks like there's like a little bit of liquid in it. You can do two untamed spells. Inferniate and Zip Zap, which is awesome. <laughs> Disperio and Deliriate for mischief and... Whoops, I went too far back. Reperio and Scrubberoo for <laughs> practical magic. If I screw any of these names up, I'm so sorry. We've learned 7 out of 15 potions. Let's have her go to the gardens. Just so I can sort of show everything. Because before, I just kind of rushed through it like in the other save. Because that's not what I was focusing on. I wasn't focusing on Roman magic. So now we're actually going to focus on that. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Now she fell out of the sky. <laughs> so we can look for frogs here as well. This doesn't look like the normal log. It's like a little well thing. So now these... Okay. You see these, you can dig these up. Just like you can uh, right by her house. There's another... This is a potato plant that hasn't even grown yet. So we can't do anything with that. We should be able to harvest from it once it is fully grown. Oh, here's one. This is the mandrake plant, and we can also harvest from that once it is full grown, of which none of these are full grown, so wild apple tree. This is full grown. It's a lemon tree, but it is not, it doesn't have anything on it right now. It is not blooming. This is, this place, this particular pond can actually be fished in, um, since you can use fish for potions as well. Um, wild cherry tree. I think I already said that, didn't I? No. Well, cherry tree, and then where's the... I thought there was a mandrake, or not a... Um, there it is. Valerian. Yeah, it's a valerian plant. Harvest all? Wait, you can actually harvest from this? 
Oh, there's a snake there too. When did you see him slithering across the screen? It's kind of weird. It's like, I didn't expect that. What is a shame though, is this is a beautiful greenhouse and I would love to be able to go inside and like actually like, if there are things that you could explore in here. And you can't. Missed opportunity right there, I think. I just think EA got lazy. They're like, oh, you want a building there, but you can't go inside. <laughs> Sucks to be you. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Well, now that she was treating us to a nice little concert, let's go home. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm bored with it too. I was playing with my phone. <laughs> she fell off of the broom again. She fell so hard she got impaled by the freaking portal. <laughs> but somehow she stood back up. Magic. All right, let's dismiss our dragon. Dragon's like, fine, screw you then. I almost swore. Wow, what is wrong with me? It's like, fine, F you. What is happening here? What's going on? Oh my god, the floor is splashing! Oh, I have so many questions! What is happening here? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm kind of scared, honestly. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, it's Gem in the pool. And for some reason, they decided to have the splashes go here instead of there. That's nice. Thanks, Jem, for giving me a goddamn heart attack. I like it when I build cool stuff. Flexing, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, look who it is! Look who's here! <laughs> oh my god, it's Caleb! <laughs> That's great. I didn't do this. I swear to god, I did not do this at all. This is great. So, of course, I mean, he's coming to the house, I think. Or just walking by. I did have this happen, though. Lilith came to visit my sim and didn't even know my sim. Your floor was the water monster from Amnesia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is. He's gonna come to the house. They do not have any relationship with him at all. They have a negative relationship with these people, though. Jade does not know him. Jem does not know him. <laughs> oh my god. Well, they're gonna know him now. He's like, no, you're not gonna have a save file that I'm not in it. Come on. You know better than that. <laughs> She's just already coming out and hey, what's up? <laughs> Why are you knocking on the door when she's standing right there? <laughs> yeah, flirty introduction. Of course I had to do it. Where are you going? No way! <laughs> she didn't even get a chance to greet you and you're just leaving? Walks up to the door. Goodbye. Oh no, he's uncomfortable. Aw, that's cute. He's uncomfortable. Why are you uncomfortable? What's wrong? Ask about day. Ask him why he's uncomfortable. We can't really do that. Swiggity suit, he want that booty. <laughs> I honestly, I, that's never happened. I don't think Caleb has ever come to my house. Like, obviously not my house, but I mean like my Sims house at all, except for when I actually had them in Forgotten Hollow. But this is not, this is Glimmerbrook, I promise. <laughs> okay, wait. So you know how I said before that with um, Slice of Life, Sims can get beat up and um, end up with like marks on their faces and stuff. Morgan's got that. He has a black eye and a bruised lip. It looks like he got into a fight. I'm wondering if that's because of the duel. I wonder if that counts as a fight. That's weird. Looks like you're hitting it off quite well. <laughs> Imagine a non-vampire making a vampire pun to a vampire. Why are vampires bad at self-improvement? Because they can't reflect on their mistakes. Wait. No, 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 no. What are you doing, Vlad? No, you no, you don't. No, uh-uh. No, you get the hell out of here. <laughs> Send home. Go away. We're not inviting them in. Well, now it's 1.19 in the morning. Caleb, you kept us up. But it wouldn't be a series without you, now would it? Okay. She's just standing there while he's just, like, watching TV. You know what? Fine. You know, just flirt. Oh, now you're gonna go to bed. No, 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 wait. Hold on. You're gonna flirt with him because he's there. <laughs> Make a move? Oh my god, that's a bit soon, don't you think? Aw, they already have a little romance bar. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Why does this happen to me? <laughs> okay, seriously. All right. Seriously, seriously, seriously. Like seriously, seriously. Ew, ew. <laughs> Sorry. Do you guys know that song? Please tell me you know that song. Oh, seriously, seriously. Ew, ew. Now she's awake. Jade's gonna go to bed, and Jem's like, "That's okay. I'll entertain your guest. Better not entertain him in any other way." <laughs> I mean, if I end up getting Jade with Caleb, I might as well get Jem with Morgan. But that originally was not my intention with this. I promise. Oh, Jem, we can send you out, Frog. No, we can't. You're naked. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't realize that she was in the shower. Yeah, Jem. Okay, cool. Come over here. Get more frogs for your sister, and dig up more stuff for your sister. <laughs> she's like, "Why are you making me do all of her damn dirty work?" <laughs> 
Quite literally. Just gotta look in mossy logs and dig up dirt stuff. <gasps> What's this? It's a kitty! Mayor Whiskers? Cautious, friendly entry. Yes! Oh my god, you are so- You look like Oreo! You look like my kitty Oreo! No, please don't walk away. No, don't walk away. Stop, I'm trying to look at your face, god dang it. Oh, he really does. He looks like my Oreo who passed away. Um, excuse your leg. Aww. Can I adopt this kitty? I need to adopt this kitty. Can we take him in? Like, we just can we praise? No! <laughs> oh my god, that is so dinky. I've never seen this cat before. Request a song. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, all right. We'll let you go to bed, Mr. Whiskers. That is so cute. Oh, jeez. That just warmed my heart. It reminded me of my lover dubs. Kitty from meeting a new cat friend. Who can resist these fluffy little creatures? So if, or should I say when, we move Caleb into the household because that's probably going to happen. <laughs> He'll be taking that bottom room, that basement room, because that's his room in the other save. It actually has vampire stuff in it. You can't really see. Oh, there we go. Uh, it has vampire stuff in it already. I just took all the actual furniture out, but he had a coffin, because there's no other place to put a damn coffin in this place. And, like, his own, like, office and computer and stuff. Okay, actually, you know, Jade, we should probably wake you up, because if we don't, you're going to piss yourself, so let's not do that. So there's a mod called Wicked Whims that I no longer use. Uh, it's quite vulgar, um, and whenever she, whenever like a sim has to go to the bathroom, they say certain things. Well, those certain things are also shouted during the act of mating, <laughs> I'll say. And uh, yeah, so anytime that they say it when they have to be all, I, I get like flashbacks to <laughs> Wicked Whims, and I'm just like, yeah, no, uh, uh, that mod is so bad. Like it's a good mod. But it's so bad. <laughs> I eventually just stopped. I, I had it because it actually had like an attraction meter and stuff like that too. And I really liked that because it would, it sort of gave the Sims like a mind of their own. Like, hey, I think this person is cute. So maybe you should have me approach them. I liked that. I did not really like anything else that came with it. I was amused by it at first, but then after a while I was like, this is, I don't know, weird. It's like, if that's what I want to see, I would just get back on the second light. <laughs> nope. Okay, yeah, Jade has learned all possible spells for the current rank. Practicing magic or experimenting on the cauldron will continue to improve her spellcaster prowess. So, we will do that. Oh my god, that wand is so cool! I'm so happy we got this wand! I love it! I need one of these in real life. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> a wood wand with what looks to be like a dragon's eye in it. Hell yeah, that would be my life right there. I'll just stick with my Snape wand, which I actually do have one. There, now we have other wands just on display. Where are you going? What are you doing? She's like, I'm done. All right, I think I'm actually going to cut this stream now. I'm going to go and I will be back soon, uh, hopefully very soon, with another sort of update with this. Until then, have a good day, night, whatever it is where you are, and I will be back soon. Bye!